I'm extraordinarily grateful to the NUJ, the National Unit of Journalists. I've been a member for more than 50 years. Uh, they paid my legal costs. They recognised that it was an issue of principle that had implications for all inquiring journalists. I think I'd have had to defend myself if they hadn't stepped up to the plate. This police inquiry started in 2018 uh, as a result, really, of the inquest. I, I did cooperate with them to the extent that I could. I, uh, I have no brief for uh, defending terrorists, so I think if you plant bombs in public places, you're not entitled to be surprised by the consequences. Uh, in the case, for example, of the two of the four uh, bombers who are dead, I had no compunction about handing over my notes. And the reason protecting sources is so sacrosanct for a journalist is that nobody involved in anything controversial would talk to you uh, if they knew they were likely to be named. If I'd have gone round in the mid-1980s interviewing the 16 or 17 former members of the IRA that I tracked down one way uh, or the other and said I'm, uh, I can't uh, guarantee not to pass the information on to the police, nobody would have talked to me. But I'd have got precisely nowhere. Uh, and it's no good them saying now, oh well, leave it to the, the authorities. The, 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 there was no investigation going on when I came on the scene. Had the a court case gone against me, I, I still would not have provided the documents that, uh, um, that they were after. But if I'd lost all the way down the line, uh, that would have faced the authorities with a difficult dilemma. Uh, I, I would be in contempt of court, uh, uh, potentially subject to an escalating series of fines or, or imprisonment. The Terrorism Act 2000 does give the judge a lot of discretion, and in this case he used it in my uh, uh, favour what I did was overwhelmingly uh, in the public interest. It, it wasn't just a case of overturning one of the biggest miscarriages of justice uh, in British legal history. Uh, it also led to the disbandment of the notorious uh, uh, West Midlands Serious Crimes Squad uh, and the quashing of a further 30 or more uh, 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 wrongful convictions that they'd obtained. It led to the setting up of a royal commission one of whose recommendations was the creation of the Criminal Cases Review Commission, which has subsequently quashed another 500 convictions, the latest being uh, of these uh, unfortunate sub-postmasters who were persecuted uh, by, unjustly by the post office. Happily, there are still good inquiring journalists around, uh, and, I, and I think they're a bit safer as a result of this judgment. I think it is important to remember that we're talking about the deaths of 21 people and serious injuries, life-changing in many cases, inflicted on, on 200 others. So it's, uh, uh, it, and it's easy to overlook that when just talking about the, 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 the principle. Uh, if I was in their place, uh, I would certainly want to see those responsible face justice. I entirely uh, understand that. I think they've been misled into believing that uh, I have information that would somehow lead to convictions. Uh, uh, I don't, uh, as far as I can see. Um, I, the, the papers the police were after, although it's been implied they will contain names and addresses and so forth, they don't. I was very careful at the time not uh, to give hostages uh, to fortune. So even if the police had got their hands on these documents, uh, I don't think it would have advanced the case. Uh, um, one thing I would just gently draw to their attention uh, is that the only reason the names of three of the four perpetrators are known is as a result of my investigations. Uh, uh, and nobody was doing any investigating when I came on the scene. Did I ever have any doubt? I always realised from the outset you'd only had to study it for a few hours to see there was something wrong with all this. It was really fairly obvious to any unbiased observer that the confessions uh, uh, were dodgy. They contradicted each other in key respects. I set out to find the actual perpetrators. I thought the only way you can look the world in the eye and say uh, um, that these people are entirely innocent and they weren't members of the IRA, they weren't members of Sinn Féin and they weren't involved in these or any other bombings uh, is by finding the perpetrators and persuading uh, uh, them to, uh, uh, to uh, say what they'd done in sufficient detail to make it impossible for anybody to go on pretending that the real culprits were inside. So that's what I set out to do. And from the time that I spoke to Murray, who was the first of the bombers who talked to me, and he's dead now, 
uh, um, and he gave me a pretty good account of, of what had happened. I, I knew absolutely uh, uh, that these were the wrong people uh, and uh, so I never looked back from that moment onwards and I also knew that if we persisted we would eventually win.